there are different approaches to predict RNA secondary structures. Uh, one of them is energy minimization, uh, where we come up with a structure that has the overall uh, energy of that system is minimum. Uh, we can do comparative sequence analysis. Uh, we can do folding and alignment. And finally, there is an, another method where we have a base pair maximization. So we try to find that maximum bases are paired with one another. In energy uh, minimization, which is a dynamic programming approach, uh, it does not require prior sequence alignments. So we require estimation of energy terms, uh, which can contribute to the overall system or to the overall structure. And our assumptions are uh, most stable structures are more, more likely structures. So the, those structures that have a minimum energy or their energy is less, they are believed to be more stable. So those are the ones which are the most probable structures. So energy associated with any position is only influenced by local sequence and structures. So whatever uh, those, those uh, structures are formed locally, the neighboring nucleotide pairs, uh, they, they might interact with each other. So in this way, uh, we can start maintaining the structures in some local regions. Uh, they neglect pseudonauts. So uh, it predicts secondary structures by minimizing the free energy. Uh, we can calculate this delta G as sum of individual contributions of loops as well as stacks. So overall, this algorithm is uh, thermodynamically uh, stable. So it looks for thermodynamic stability, it estimates energy using some experimental techniques. So energy is estimated through some experimental techniques. It uses that information actually to come up with a thermodynamically stable structure. And the theory is that more stable is most likely. So the structure that is more stable, that is more likely. And this algorithm has limitations of predicting pseudonauts. It uses dynamic programming approach where it can start with some local regions and then it expands and in the end it integrates its solutions with one another. It attempts to maximize the score while taking into account different thermodynamical aspects. And this algorithm is being implemented in these packages. We know them as mfold and Vienna. So here we see a structure and it's uh, overall free energy computations. Uh, we see that uh, some structures like uh, loops and bulges, they create more stability since our energy is a big number, which is a positive number. Uh, same way the extensions which are going out, like those uh, five prime dangling ends, uh, they have their energy that is equal to minus 0.3. So we are looking for those arrangements which whose energy is, is less. So for example, if we look into these all stacked pairs, so more the stacked pairs, lower is the energy of the system. So we have stacks which are good. And then the mismatch is also kind of uh, having a lower energy, but not that much lower. But obviously those loops and those bulges, they raise the energy of the system so they can cause this instability. The overall delta G for this molecule is negative 4.6. So in this way we can come up with different structures and we can calculate their energies and the one over on the structure that has the overall energy lowest that will be the most likely structure. The drawbacks of this energy minimization is that it can come up with one optimal structure and usual drawbacks of a purely mathematical approach. So since it's going with the calculations or equations, so it's trying to, you know, come up with just one optimal structure. In comparative sequence analysis, we do a multiple sequence alignment as input and it requires sequences to be similar enough uh, so that they can be aligned with one another. Then the sequences should be dissimilar for co-varying substitutions to be detected. So if we have dissimilarities, uh, we can look into where we can have those covariations and it produces some uh, structure predictions. So we see there are different approaches in which we discussed in this section in detail about the energy minimization uh, where we are looking for a structure that has a, has a lowest energy so that structure is actually more stable.